We all know that Wilson interfered in a shock absorber, but if you want to go further, you got TechnoShock. Today we visit TechnoShock for transform the MX-5 of my friend James. I have to admit, I couldn't sleep last night because I felt so excited. Established in 1994, close to Barcelona, Spain, this company is specialized in a race suspension for cars. The first thing the company staff do is check all the factory parameters with this modern alignment machine. With this little machine is measured the distance between the wheel and the body. Then it weighs with an individual scales the weight of the car with the full tank. Not bad. And this is the true reason we came here. These are the TechnoShock Sport Performance Coilovers. The main facts of this threaded suspension are monotube high pressurized gas, harness adjustable with 25 positions for road and sport use. Complete the installation this HR sway bar skill, also adjustable in two positions. The mechanic is expecting a long working journey. To get enough space for remove the sway bar, the mechanic has to down the steering rack. Who force the protector box to arrive at the rear turrets. And it's how it looks the front axle finished. The mechanic just needs 10 minutes for change the rear sway bar. Finally, the rear axle is done. This is the wheel for adjusted 25 points of harness. The preparation will not be complete without changing the brake fluid for this Ferrado racing formula. Now, we are going to do a tour of the factory. This company has 8 workers and several specialized machines. This machine is used to check the compression of the shocks once they are finished. And this one for shocks for military vehicles. Here we can see the different orders of the clients. This is the gas filling machine for monotooth shocks. Manufactured by TechnoShock, filled with nitrogen gas and oil at the same time. Here are all the components to make the shock absorber. We found several work tables to mount the different types of shock absorber. In these buckets are the different orders to each order. Now let's go to the warehouse. These are the aluminium body shocks, one virgin and the other finished. These are the piston rods, ready to be cut to size for each client. Bump stops, steel tooth blanks, wipers, one-way adjustable piston rods, hundreds of pieces to be compound a shock. Here we have a different sizes of bashings for silent blocks and bearings. These are the shims. They are necessary for the settings of the shock absorber. With infinite configurations, in these drawers we find hundreds of reference. You could not miss the adjustable top mounts. TechnoShock used the ABAC springs, with different types of length, diameter and compression in Newton's meter. They also have the fluid for the magna shock absorbers. 
The first manufacturing step is carried out on the welding room with the TIG machine. Once the welding is done, they are immersed in peat to be cooled. Pistons and shims working linear, progressive and degressive. And these are the seals. Here are all the parts that make up the shock absorber. Once assembled, it's filled with synthetic oil with this machine. Here we see the technician adjusting the harness regulator. And this is the finished product. You can see the great quality of the shock. Depending on the order, it can be delivered with top mounts, one, two or three ways like the one in the image. These are some of Citroën Saxo from a French client. They are finally packaged for shipping all over the world. Let's go back to the workshop to see how James Miata is. Once assembled everything, is aligning the steering as ordered by the client. Today, our friend James goes home very happy. And this has been our day at the Technoshock facilities. I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching.